guys, it is me again. I am going to film a tag video and it is the Lip Addict tag. I've been wanting to do this and I thought it would be a, such a great idea because I love, I'm like a lip junkie and I am going to get started. If you've done the video, let me know. I'd love to check it out. I have my questions written down here and I will link the questions um, down below so if you want to do it please do so so okay first thing it says it's a favorite lip balm and being a lip junkie I couldn't pick just one however I narrowed it down to two which is a big deal for me um, and they are the by Terry Balm de Rose. I've spoken about this a lot of times and I really love this. Um, also the Bite Lip Agave. I love this. I mean, I'm, I've used so much of this and it was in my favorites, I believe. But anyway, I really, really love this one. It just does miracles to my lips and I have um, dry lips so and wear a lot of matte lipsticks. So that uh, comes in handy. So those are the two. And then, best eye-catching red. Okay. So this was not difficult because I love a matte lipstick. And I decided to go with matte, um, it's called Russian Red from MAC. And also, um, in a couple of my videos, I'm wearing... Uh, this red, which is a, it's 03, it's from Sephora, and it's the cream lip stain. But the velvet, I mean the um, Russian red is just this beautiful retro red, like old Hollywood pin up -y look. I think it's more like a pin up -y look, and I love that color um, red for that. And then this one, the number 03 also go it's a matte and it's right there so it's really really pretty color okay and then the next question is best luxury brand um, I really love Chanel and I have quite a few Chanel lip products but I also um, when I was looking at this I have a lot of YSL and to be honest with you, my favorite, I think, ugh, would have to be the YSL. Not only on packaging, but on pigmentation, on the variety of colors and finishes. So these are just some, and these are all different finishes that I wanted to show really quick. Um, I don't even know what number this one is it's just the nude one because the color run um, or is not on there anymore but it's a beautiful nude it's right there and these are so so creamy the next one this is one of their um, candy uh, sheer candies and it's just the silver with the pink on there and again this one the name is off and it's real it's clear it's sheer um, really moisturizing for your lips though and then um, one of my favorite lipsticks it's this color is number 49 and it is a beautiful pink it's right there I love this color and I will be filming a I think I'm going to do like a five summer um, bright lipstick, so that obviously will be on there. This one is number 17, and the one, and it's right there. And then lastly, this is just their gold, uh, golden gloss, I believe, from YSL, and it's really, really pretty. It has, I'm not even sure you'll be able to see that but it has gold flakes in there and it's so beautiful you can't really see but it's a really pretty um, gloss and then 
really quick here. The next question is best drugstore brand. Okay, so for me, it really honestly has to be NYX. I love NYX products. Um, but I did stick one of these lipsticks in here, and it's from Wet n Wild. The reason is because these are $1.99, and sometimes you can get, like, buy one, get the second one half off. But these colors are really, really pigmented, and I love this one. This is 967 Dollhouse Pink. It's right there. It's so pretty. I love it. For $2, I mean, it's crazy. But um, NYX, I was looking through my lip drawer here, and I have so many NYX products. Not only because they are really inexpensive, but they are extremely pigmented, and the color selection, again, is like no other. I'm swatching these really quick here. Oh my god, these are beautiful. Okay. So... The first one here is called Shocking Pink, and it's their matte lipstick. The next one is Indie Flick, which is one of my favorite colors, and it's right there. And then this gorgeous color there is from their Soft Matte Lip Creams, and it is called Morocco. So it's right there. I mean, that's just, aren't those all beautiful? I think so. <laughs> okay, um, moving on. Um, best MAC lipstick. Okay, so on this one, I decided I can't just do one. Um, so the first one has to be, I'll use my other arm now, <laughs> my other hand, um, Candy Yum Yum. I had bought this color when it was the limited edition, and since then it's... Um, it's not limited edition. You can actually get this color now, but it's right there. I just think it's such a beautiful color. I really love it. Pink Pigeon is another one that's a favorite of mine. And I think that that color, um, it was limited edition, and I want to say they brought it back, but I wasn't too sure, so I didn't include it in here. But one of my favorite, this is the um, Relentlessly Red, and I'm really, really obsessed with this color. It's red, but it has like a pink kind of undertone. I, I, I don't know, but it looks so beautiful, and I absolutely love that color. Okay, and then, oh, moving along. Okay, um, best drugstore, best MAC lipstick. Most disappointing. Oh, I had to, um, I actually threw this away, and I went in my garbage and picked it out. Um, and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color. I honestly can't be too mad at this because it was like a dollar ninety nine or something. But this is the worst thing. I mean, it's a brand new bottle, and I'm throwing it because it, it's horrible. The color is beautiful. It is right there. It's beautiful, but. It's like rubber on your lips. It dries really, really bad. It goes onto all your um, lines on your um, lips. Even if you um, moisturize or exfoliate, this thing still goes right into all those lines, which is really horrible. And then once you like, it kind of locks your lips. They get stuck and the product starts coming off. It is so disgusting. It's horrible to take off. I hate this product. I'm sorry even using the word hate, but I really, really dislike this product. And again, it's going back in the garbage um, because it sucks. Okay, enough of that. Um, liner, yes or no? I used to be a big uh, lip liner person and it's been about a year or over a year now where I really don't wear a lot of lip liner unless I'm wearing a like a red or a really bright color. Uh, a red I'll wear a lip liner that is red but um, for bright colors now like oranges or really hot pinks or fuchsias I'm wearing the um, Dior it's just a clear, it's like the Too Faced Featherless um, 
lip liner. It's just one of those clear ones that you just outline and it doesn't bleed. So I've been using that one, um, but normally, typically, no, I don't use a lip liner. However, um, depending on the color, which like I said, if it's a bright, then yes, I will. Best lip gloss. Okay, this one was really, obviously, again, really easy. Um, it has to be the Buxom, the lip creams, and it's all of them. I love White Russian. I love um, This is Lavender Cosmo. Crimsical is really nice. Um, there's a Pink Pop or Pink something. I can't even think of the name, but anyway, all of them are my favorite, and I love them. And the one that I decided to just swatch for you is this one, and it's Pink Lavender. I love this color, and like I said, um, the Buxom Lip Creams are my favorite. Um, and then also the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Glass, as well as the regular lip glass. I just think they're really nice. The price... Um, you can't go wrong. I'm just really giving a bad swatch here, but there's this one, and this is called Love, Love, Love. And then the, oh, the next one is called Carousel. And oh my gosh, I gotta finish this up. Okay. And there's Carousel. Uh, geez, this one is Carousel. Okay. Anyway, something extra. Um, I guess you can just bring whatever you want um, on there, but I chose my Bite. This is not all of my Bite products, but I wanted to um, share this as my something extra because I love Bite products in general, especially their matte lip pencils beautiful colors, beautiful pigmentation, um, and also their, what are these, just the high pigmented pencils, and I have nude, pink, purples, I actually have a lot more, but I just um, selected these really quick, um, so I wouldn't have so many lip products, but as you can tell, I am a true lip addict, because I cannot just choose one, so uh, my something extra would have to be Bite lip products, and especially their lip pencils, um, opposed to their lipsticks. So, okay, um, I am out of time. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I loved making this video. Um, I will see you in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs this video up, and if you did a lip addict tag please leave that in the comment below so i can um, view that and thank you so much for watching guys have a great day or night or morning bye guys